Welcome to CBOW Pop. So we've waded through a ton of sources this week, and honestly, the takeaway is crystal clear. If you're still thinking AI and video production is just some uh, niche experiment, you're already behind the curve. Way behind. It's genuinely changing the whole game, making video faster, way cheaper, and just incredibly accessible for pretty much anyone now. It really is the ultimate democratization, isn't it? What we're seeing is AI is stepping up not to replace creators, but to be this transformative, tireless production assistant. It lets individuals build these scalable, cost-effective content workflows, stuff that, you know, used to demand a whole studio budget, multiple people. And that really frames what we want you to get from our video today. The goal is figuring out how you can basically step into that strategic director role for your content letting the AI tools be your super efficient, always available crew. It's about shifting your focus, right? From doing the grunt work to setting the strategy. Exactly, execution versus direction. So why not map it out in our session today? We'll kick off looking at this new landscape of uh, free, powerful AI tools for actually generating content, wiping out that cost barrier. Then we'll dive into the editing side and the AI techniques saving massive amounts of time. Okay, let's do this. And finally, we'll tie it all together with strategy, the AI content flywheel, that workflow you need to actually succeed with today's platform algorithms. Perfect. Let's tackle costs first, because historically getting good visuals, that meant expensive stock subscriptions or wrestling with complex software, right? Oh, absolutely. Huge barrier. But now it's flipped. We're seeing these powerful generative tools, text to video, image to video, and many are free, but promising unlimited no watermark use, that's kind of a big deal. It's the crucial point. That cost barrier for getting decent looking video, it's basically gone, evaporated. Yeah, exactly. Forget the minor spec differences for a second. But the big picture is high quality watermark free video is becoming a zero cost thing. Like we looked at several video AI generations that our sources highlighted with excellent quality models. Totally free, unlimited generations, no watermark, but okay, the default is five seconds, 24 FPs with 768 resolution, but still. That's plenty for B-roll, cuts, rendering, quick visuals, and time for many platforms. Right, and they typically bundle in other AI tools like illustration and logo making. That integration's smart. Less jumping around between different apps saves time, but uh, it's a landscape full of trade-offs you have to remember. Oh, definitely. Look at how many AI websites exist. It's fascinating. So many companies are stepping into this AI bubble and adding value with super low friction. Yeah, but what's the catch? The catch is technical. It only outputs at 480p, which isn't amazing. And weirdly, you some even need a VPN, like connected to the US, to get it working reliably outside certain areas. Okay, so maybe best for quick social stuff, where resolution isn't critical. Exactly. Speed and zero cost are the priorities here. Then you've got a very polished and professional video feel. Uh, so many sites now offer free videos, and the quality is genuinely impressive. The trade-off? Let me guess. Watermarks. Bingo! Free videos get a watermark, but you know, the quality is high enough that for some uses it might still be worth it. They even throw in 50 daily priority credits to speed things up sometimes. Interesting balance, quality versus the watermark. Okay, hold on. So we've got all this amazing free content generation, potentially saving huge amounts of time, but we mentioned trade-offs. Is the biggest headache actually the legal stuff? The fine print? Are people getting tripped up by commercial rights? Absolutely, they are. This is probably the most critical point people overlook, commercial rights and licensing. The golden rule is simple, but you have to do it. Check the terms of service always. Because if you use that free asset in a video and are planning to monetize, you need that commercial license. Otherwise, you're risking copyright strikes, demonetization. It's serious. And some tools are good about this. They make it clear up front. Some are excellent. Sources pointed to TTS Maker for voiceovers. Gives you like 20,000 characters a week free tier. Explicitly says it's 100% commercial use allowed. And AIMusicGen.ai for background music. Daily free songs, but they explicitly grant full ownership and commercial license only on their annual plans at the time of recording this. Yeah, it's a little tricky, especially with the other really high-end tools out there. No kidding. Think 11 labs for voice synthesis. Their free tier is absolutely phenomenal for testing, but using that voice in, say, a monetized YouTube video, 
Generally, you need to be on a paid plan for the commercial rights. Skipping that check, that's where people get burned. The legal homework is kind of the new production bottleneck. Okay, so assuming you've cleared the legal hurdles, the next huge time saver is editing, right? Uh, I, I seems to be shifting editing from like pixel pushing drudgery to something much smarter. Totally. It's moving from manual labor to more text-based direction. The prime example everyone talks about is Descript. Right, the transcription editing site. Very exciting stuff. Yeah, you just upload your video, it transcribes it almost instantly. And then you literally edit the video by just editing the text. Delete a sentence you flubbed in the transcript. Poof! The corresponding video and audio are gone from the timeline. Exactly. If you do anything with narration, talking heads, interviews, it's probably the single biggest efficiency game imaginable. And these kinds of AI smarts are bleeding into the pro software too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, very much so. I'm thinking of those masking tools. Magic mask, magnetic mask, object selection, whatever they call it. Oh yeah, those are game changers for production value. It basically kills rotoscoping for many common tasks. That tedious frame-by-frame -frame outlining. Gone. Now you just click, tell the AI, isolate the person, and boom. It lets you add cool effects and text or graphics in an instant, giving your AI-generated videos a polished, professional frame that looks like it was edited by a full production team. And saves hours of manual keyframing. I remember trying to do that manually. Painful. If AI does it in seconds, that whole skill set just becomes less relevant for that task. Pretty much. And it's the same with audio cleanup, features like voice isolation or dialogue isolation. Right. Get rid of all background noise. Yeah, instantly. That annoying air conditioner hum, traffic rumble, bad room echo. One click and it's dramatically reduced or gone. That improvement in sound quality keeps viewers engaged. But the really mind-bending stuff is generative editing. Our sources were highlighting tools that let you change the video after you've shot it. That feels like science fiction. It kind of is. Think about using something like Runway's a left model. You can literally type a prompt to change the lighting style of your video, or maybe even adjust the framing slightly. Without reshooting, just by typing. Just by typing. Or look at Artlist's tools. They mentioned one called Nano Banana. It can composite realistic animated clouds into a static, boring sky in your footage. Whoa. Whoa. I know, we're going to have to split this into two sessions. There's so much to it. Enough AI talk for today. Thank you for joining us today on our Channel C Bow Pop. Absolutely. We'll continue our research discussion on a follow-up video. We hope you enjoyed. Have an amazing day, everyone. Don't forget to like. And subscribe. Goodbye.